Hello kids, let's learn about the life cycle of plants. Wow! Just like you and me, plants are also living things. They also grow, make more baby plants and go through an amazing life cycle. Life cycle? Life cycle of a plant is the different stages of a plant's life. Just like us, plants have a journey to go through. They start as a tiny seeds, then grow into mature plants that can make more seeds. This amazing cycle keeps plants alive and thriving, filling the world with greenery. Let's look at different stages of a plant life cycle. Seed stage. Most plants begin their life cycle as seeds. Seed is a part of a plant that can grow into a new plant. Seeds are usually found inside fruits like apples or oranges or hiding in the ground. Inside a seed, there is a special mix of everything a plant needs to grow. The seeds waits for the right conditions to start its magical journey. Until then, it stays in the seed stage like a tiny superhero getting ready for an incredible adventure. Seed stage when it gets all the things it loves, like soil, water and warmth from sunlight, it wakes up. The seed starts to change and something amazing begins. The seed begins the process of germination. Germination. The seed soaks up some water and starts to swell. It's like the seed is stretching and getting ready for action. The seed sprouts and a tiny shoot comes out. Meanwhile, tiny roots start digging in the soil. It's like the plant's way of saying, I am ready to grow. Finally, the shoots burst out of the seed and emerges from the soil. The shoot becomes a seedling and tiny leaves start to unfold. Germination is an exciting stage when the seed transforms into a tiny little seedling. The next stage is seedling stage. The seedling stage is the phase in a plant's life cycle that comes after germination. Seedling stage Seedlings are delicate and need some special care. They require water, sunlight and nutrients to keep growing strong. Below the soil, the roots of the seedling are getting longer and longer. As it grows, the seedling collects all its essential nutrients and water from the soil through its roots. They help the plant stay firmly anchored in the ground. The seedling stretches towards the sunlight. This growing plant traps sunlight and starts preparing its own food. Green plants make their food through a process called photosynthesis. The seedling begins to develop leaves and stems. It's like the plant's way of growing up and getting bigger. The next phase in the plant's life cycle is growth and maturity. After the tiny seed becomes a seedling, it enters a time of super fast growth called the growing up phase. This is also called as vegetative growth. The process of photosynthesis helps the plant get taller and bigger, making lots of leaves and branches. That's how the plant grows up, just like you do. The plant gradually develops into an adult plant. Adult plant A fully mature plant consists of roots, stems and leaves. The roots derive nutrients and water from the soil, while the stem carries them to the leaves. The leaves perform photosynthesis to prepare food. This is the time when it's as big and strong as it can be. It's ready for the next big step, making flowers and seeds. Flowering stage The next stage and a crucial stage in a plant life cycle is the flowering stage. When a plant grows up, it starts making flowers. Inside the flowers, new seeds are made and that's how the plant makes more plants. These flowers are like the plant's way of having babies. In other words, the flowers is where reproduction happens. Flowering stage Flowering stage marks the beginning of reproductive growth in plants. 
Flowers have special parts that ensure that the plant can have baby plants. Let's have a look inside a flower. The parts of the plant that help in reproduction are stamen and pistil. Stamen is the male part of the plant and pistil is the female part of the plant. The stamen has tiny specks or dust called pollen and has the special ability to make seeds. Inside the ovary, the female part of the plant, there are tiny eggs or ovules. These parts work together in a process called pollination and fertilization which leads to the formation of seeds and the continuation of the plant life cycle. The next step is pollination followed by fertilization. Pollination and fertilization are the special meeting and the magical hug that happens between the flowers. The plant needs a little help to make the babies. That's where bees, butterflies and sometimes even the wind come in. Pollination and Fertilization They carry tiny things called pollen from one flower to another helping the plant make seeds. Pollination is the process by which pollen from male part of a flower is transferred to the female part of the same or another flower. Pollination is like a special meeting between two flowers. Pollination is then followed by fertilization. Fertilization is like when a plant has a special hug to make baby seeds. After the plant's flowers have been visited by bees or butterflies, the pollen lands on the female part of the plant. After the pollen lands on the stigma, it travels down a tube. Then a part of the pollen then meets an egg or ovule in the ovary and they join together and this moment is called fertilization. It is like a magical union. The next stage of the plant life cycle after fertilization is typically the development of seeds and the transformation of the ovary into a fruit. The ovule turns into a seed and the ovary might become a fruit, protecting the new seeds inside. It's like a celebration for making baby seeds. Fruit and seed formation These seeds are like magic packets that can grow into new plants. The fruit, on the other hand, keeps the seeds safe and sometimes helps them travel to new places. These fruits protect the seeds and give them good things to help them grow strong. Once the seed is all grown up and mature, it begins its next adventure, seed dispersal. Seed dispersal. Many fruits are delicious and colorful, attracting animals like birds and insects. These animals eat the fruits for a tasty treat. As animals eat the fruits, they carry the enclosed seeds with them and transport seeds away from the parent plant to new locations where they can germinate and grow into new plants. Apart from animals and insects, seeds can also be dispersed through water, wind and various other mechanisms. The seed, once dispersed, remains in the seed stage until it finds suitable conditions to germinate and continue the whole life cycle all over again. Seed stage again. Can you recap the different stages in a plant life cycle? Seed stage. Germination. Seedling stage Adult plant Flowering stage Pollination and Fertilization Fruit and seed formation Seed dispersal Seed stage again You did it! Wow! I learned a lot today
please subscribe. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.